people sentenced in the 80s to 2000s, what modern world change shocked you the most? I remember getting the bus years ago and this old bloke got on heading away from town center towards the more residential areas. Without a second thought he sparked up a cigar, one of the passengers told him you can't smoke on a bus. He apologized and quickly stubbed it out but said he got discharged from prison that day, and when he went in you could smoke anywhere you wanted so this was a massive culture shock to him. Knew a guy who was blown away by digital cameras. He had purchased an old, terrible one and couldn't get over how amazing it was. My friend's older brother was jailed in 1994, and served 15 years. He said when he went in, anyone with an in-car phone was super rich, and to then see absolutely everyone have a completely cordless, pocket-sized phone, was amazing. He also said that all the TV adverts had websites to visit, or were for completely online stores, which were a bit of an alien concept, as he'd never really seen or used the internet. He also found the chip and pin process of paying for things on a bank card, extremely exciting. I hired a guy that was released after 17 years, circa 2005. A week after he started working he bought a phone. He had a childlike wonder with push to talk and texting. A week later he was pissed off that he couldn't text his order into Hungry Howie's. I was talking to a lady who runs the education for a federal prison in Florida. She said when they start getting rambunctious or off topic, she mentions a new feature of the newest iPhone and all of a sudden they're very interested in what she has to say again. My friend just came home two weeks ago. And I tried to prepare him the best I knew how for the excessive use of cell phones by everyone. I explained that he's going to be amazed by the amount of people glued to slash looking at their phone 24-7 in the store, in the car, on the sidewalk, sitting in the house watching TV, like literally all. The. Time. I also, let him know that the technology is going to be really different since he went in over 13 years ago, so cell phones were still flip phones and definitely not as interactive, touch screens, and internet accessible. Needless to say, the second day home he called me angry as f LOL he hated how he felt stupid and how he felt like a child because he could barely figure out how to call someone let alone video chat slash FaceTime. At one point he couldn't figure out how our phone call ended up on the radio when his friend turned on the car. Straight face, he didn't like having his kids teach him how to use the technology and just was getting really discouraged. Sad face, basically, reiterating the feeling stupid mentality. I just tried to reassure him that when we all were exposed to this technology, we had to learn it. And many people forget what it was like to not know how to use something like a smartphone, we take for granted how we learned something and how we were once new to a process. Today it seems he's being more patient with himself but it is a daily struggle and one I try to be positive and kind to him so he knows if no one else, at least he can rely on slash call on me to just listen to him vent. A co-worker a few years ago had spent 10 years in jail. He got out right when Bluetooth headsets for phones were huge. He'd talk about all the random conversations he thought people were trying to have with him, and smartphones freaked him the hell out. My cousin's husband, that she married while he was serving 10 years beginning around 2008, wanted the first thing he did as a free man was to go to Hollywood video, and rent movies to watch with her. Then she blew his mind with Netflix. At least the idea of Netflix and chill wasn't far from his original plan, but he was shocked about there not being video stores anymore. My friend got out of jail recently and was blown away by how many LEDs are everywhere and how many stores are using insane amounts of LED billboards. We were all at a buddy's house and he was blinded by all the bright LED light in the house. Edit, getting a lot of messages about this. My friend has crazy bright LED bulbs in his kitchen. You can see this guy's kitchen from space. Also, the one sign that he couldn't believe was an H&M LED wall. A friend said his dad's friend tried VR after about 30 years in prison for like second degree murder or something and he got scared, fell over and broke the headset. I never give money to beggars, because in Dallas, Texas, I've been told the same story by the same ones time and time again. However there was one who was fresh out of prison and seemingly honest with me because there was no sob story, just a guy trying to get f***ed up, around 2013-ish. He came up to me and said, and I quote, Ma a a a a a a on I just got out of prison. Been in there since 97. All these people walking around with cameras in their phones trips me the f*** out. Anyway, this fool over here says I can smoke this fat ass joint with him if I bring two dollars, can you help me out? His honesty and comedic timing slash train of thought made me laugh. That's the only stranger I've ever happily given money to. I remember helping a guy who went in, in 2005. Got released 2014. Had a black and green audio box phone in his effects and asked where he could activate it. I had to explain that it wouldn't be happening lol. Like 3 months later, you know, I like the iPhone but I'm gonna wait for the release of the newest one. Adapted pretty quick. 
Not me personally, but we had an older guy rent out a room in our house a few years back. Usually we rented it out to students but someone let us know that he had just moved to our city and needed something temporary until he found permanent accommodation. It was a bit frustrating because this guy would not use the internet to search for a car or place to live. Didn't know how it worked and didn't trust it. We tried to help him learn how because we thought he was just old and stubbornly resisted technology but nope. Turns out that he had spent 11.5 years in maximum security prison after being framed, by WA police, for murder in the mid-90s. Came out with trust issues and a dislike for the new internet. Edit, Western Australian not Washington police. And here's his Wikipedia page for those interested in his case. Link will be in description. I asked a friend what the hardest thing was for him readjusting to being free again, this is a roundabout of what he said. Closing doors. I'd leave the fridge open every time without fail for months, you're not allowed to open or shut anything for yourself and I'd accidentally let the pets outside by forgetting I needed to close the front door someone else had opened in front of me, you forget the last one in rule ECT and have to learn it all again. What was the thing you found you liked the most? Candy Crush. Gets phone back out and starts playing, 5 minutes later exclaim they've leveled up excitedly, so sweet. Anthony Ray Hinton described people walking around looking at down these things in their hands, phones, and amazingly not bumping into each other. Ow. On the day you were released, your best friend, Lester who had visited you every single week for nearly 30 years picked you up. You'd been behind bars since 1985. So you got in his car, and what was the first thing you wanted to do? RH, Lester thought I'd want to get something decent to eat. But I wanted to go where they laid my mother's body. I see him messing with the radio dial, then we start driving down the road. I heard this little white lady say, in one tenth of a mile, turn right. I jumped and said, what the hell? Ow. You thought there was a white lady in the car? RH, yes, and Lester's laughing so hard he has to pull over. He says, that's a GPS. When he explained what it does, it really hit me how long I'd been locked up. The world had changed. Not my personal experience but a man I worked with after he was released from prison after being sentenced as a young adult was blown away by the touch screen ordering at Wawa and could not fathom why the employees could not take an oral order from him. My uncle went away when fanny packs were in and when he got out in the mid-2000s we had to break the news to him. Not me, but one of the most astounding changes I hear one of my dad's friends talking about is how having big asses was shameful and all models were flat. Now it's the other way around. Sir mix a lot's impact, I'd assume. Obligatory not me, but. In the early 2000s I worked with a guy that was sentenced in the mid-80s and had just come out. He told me the first time he went to a men's room he spent several minutes looking for the handle to flush. Motion sensor toilets was completely alien to him. What happened with Legos? They used to be simple. Oh come on, I know you know what I'm talking about. Legos were simple. Something happened out here while I was inside. Harry Potter Legos, Star Wars Legos, complicated kits, tiny little blocks. I mean I'm not saying it's bad I just wanna know what happened.